Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So, in the previous lecture, we had seen about round up and round down also. So, here we'll try to apply the same thing for the round down. So, let me uh, make this lecture a bit clear. Maybe in the previous lecture, I was not able to completely explain it. So, see, whenever you put minus one, it will give you an answer in the multiple of ten. Okay. Whenever you put minus two, it will give you the multi answer in the multiple of hundreds. And whenever you put minus three, it will give you the answer in the multiple of thousand. So just to remember this thing. Now you can apply this for round up or round down. Okay, anything is okay. So I'll take one number and for that I'll try to do all these things. Okay, so I'll take one number that is five five six eight or five five nine eight. Let me tell. Okay, so first what I'll do is I'll go with the round up option with a multiple of ten. So first you tell me what should be the answer. So if I go with the round up, that means it has to round up. And in the multiple of ten, I am doing. So that means it should give me five thousand six hundred. Okay. So I'll do the same thing. I'll say round up equal to R O U N D round up open bracket. I'll click on this number. I'll say comma and I'll say how much minus one and I'll close the bracket. Enter. So can you see it has given me five thousand six hundred. That's the first thing what I need to do. Now similarly here I'll apply round down. Okay. Since I've applied round up, I'll do round down also. So if I say round down, what is the answer I should get? I should get five five nine zero. Why? Because it's a multiple of ten. Either if it is round up, the next multiple of ninety uh, eight. That means next higher is five thousand six hundred. The lower will be five thousand five hundred ninety. It should give me. So I'll apply the same formula here. I'll say R O U N D D O N round down. Open the bracket. I'll click on this and I'll say minus one. I want the multiple of ten. And I'll close the bracket. So you see, whenever you are giving this multi uh, round down, after selecting that, you have to give one comma here. Okay, give a comma, and then you hit a enter button. So you can see it has come to five five nine zero. You understood the difference. Now I'll take one more number. I'll take a number. Let us say, ah uh, two two five six. Okay. Now I'll tell him to give me a multiple of hundred. I'll go with a multiple of hundred. So I'm going for round up. So if it is a round up. So multiple of hundred means you should understand your answer will be like hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and so on. Now we are going with the round up, so it will give me a higher value. So two fifty six is near to which one? Two fifty six is near to three hundred, so it should give me two thousand three hundred here. So what I can is what I can do is let me try to drag it down. So yeah, and then I'll say minus two because. For the multiple of hundred, you are going to put minus two. I'll put minus two, and let me try to see the answer. Yeah, so it is two thousand three hundred. Now similarly, I'll try to do it here round down. So two two five six. If I'm doing it round down, so two two five six for this two fifty six, two hundred is very closer. So it will round down to two thousand two hundred here. So I'll just drag this formula here. Okay, and now what I'll do is I'll select this. I'll select this, and now I'll hit the enter button. So you can okay what it has done. Okay, it should be round down, right? I'll write round down. R O U N D round down. Okay, fine. It should give me the answer now. So how much it should give me exactly? See two thousand two hundred. Got it? Now we'll make, now we'll go with a multiple of thousand. So let us let me put a value of let us say two thousand six hundred. Okay, two thousand six hundred. So what should be the answer I should be getting here? I should be getting three thousand because it's a multiple of thousand. After two thousand, next value what I'll be having is three thousand, right? I'll be having four thousand. I'll be having five thousand. I'll be having six thousand. So this is a multiple of thousand now. So what I'll do is first I'll go with round up as usual. So you see you can do one more thing. Whatever formula you applied, you just drag it down. So the moment you drag it down, and it will take the same formula. Whatever you had applied here, same formula it will take. But here it is minus two. You select this. And you make it as minus three because it's we want in a multiple of thousand. I'll click on minus three, and I'll hit the enter button. You can see it has given me three thousand. The same formula I'll apply here, but it will be round down. So that means if I am doing round down, then it should give me two thousand as my answer. Why? Because for two thousand six hundred, if I'm going, if I'm doing round down, so it will be two thousand answer. So again, I'll not write the formula. Whatever formula I'd written it here, no, I'll just try to drag it down. So then I click on this. So it has selected this. So here I'll go with minus three, and I'll hit the enter. So you can see it has given me two thousand value. Now you understood the complete concept. 
whether you do round up or whether you do round down you should know what answer will come and what answer will not come now with this understanding i feel you have completely got an answer like whenever you apply this on the real projects like uh, here we had ex here i had applied it on the real project right somewhere in the bbs sheet yeah here i had applied so it is 67.867 so if i want in multiple of 10 i'll say minus 1 so it will come to 70 yeah, i'll do it here as well okay first i'll do both the thing i'll make this value 70 by using roundup i'll make this value to 60 by using round down first i'll go with round up i'll select this r o u n d round up i'll open the bracket i'll click on this number and i'll give a comma i'll say minus 1 so it's a multiple of 10 i'm gonna get so i'll click on this so 67 so multiple will be 10 because i'm going i'm going for round up same answer same thing i'll apply here but i'll do round down i'll get the answer 60 now so don't write the formula just drag it on the right side that is enough so what will happen is small adjustment you are supposed to do you just have to bring it here and then here you make it as round down you have to make it as round down okay either you write or you select from the drop down and select and hit the enter you see the answer has come to 60 you're getting my point so this is how you are supposed to do now again this same answer i want to make it like 100 100 in the sense the nearest 100 i am supposed to do what i can do i just select it and i'll take it to the right side so it will be selecting this option but so i'll drag and i'll bring it here okay see when i click on this it has taken this cell but there is no input that is the reason i'm getting zero here okay so what i'll do i'll select on this double click i want this row to be selected so i've selected here i want a multiple of how much i want a multiple of how much 100 so i'll press 2 here but it's, it is round down so let it be round down only that means it will be showing me uh, let me check what answer i'll be getting here yeah it will be getting zero only because either it will be zero or it will be 100 since it is round down it has gone to zero the same formula i'll apply for round up i should get 100 answer here i'll right click it i'll select it i brought it here and now here i'll do round up right i hope you are able to follow me i'll say round up and my answer will be 100 this time so can you see it has come to 100 so you're able to understand what is the difference we're trying to do so in this way you can try to make use of this command and uh, you can try to play with all these things okay so i think most of the things i've explained similarly if you want in the multiple of thousand also can be done so 67 in the multiple of thousand directly it will give you th thousand here okay so if you want that the last thing that also let me do it not an issue so i'll just select i'll just bring it to the right side i'll click on it then i'll bring it to this side okay so i'll select on this so i'll just drag and like it should be brought in this way let me do it once again yeah so if it's not happening go for ctrl z so what will happen is let me delete everything it's okay so what i'll do is i'll just drag it like this okay fine so it will be zero only double click on that i'll select on this i'll bring to this cell i want in the multiple of thousand so i'll say minus three okay so i'm going for round up so it should give me 1000 as the answer so you can see the answer is 1000 similarly i'll drag it on the right side now this time i'll do round down so for that i'll select this particular okay and now i'll do round down here r-o-u-n-d d-o-w-n round down and now the answer will be th zero only because thousand is a higher one below that will be zero because it's a multiple of thousand so you're able to understand the difference right so for this one single number i've explained you so this is how you are supposed to do that so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here maybe in this lecture we were able to understand most of the uh, problems what you were facing in the previous lecture i found uh, i was not able to completely explain there so that is the reason i made this particular video so that uh, there is no more problem from here onwards you are able to understand what is round up what is round down how to take it to the nearest 10 digit how to take it to the nearest 100 digit how to take it to the nearest 1000 digit and all those things we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you